One of the new buzzwords to hit the home networking market is QoS. QoS stands for quality of service. And what quality of service boils down to is prioritizing certain activities on our network over others. Now, normally networking protocols are designed to automatically compensate for a certain amount of flow control and packet loss. So typically a web surfing session or data transfer session can withstand a certain amount of errors. However, when it comes to timing dependent video, music, and gaming sessions, that tolerance level is greatly reduced. For this reason, on a busy network, it can become necessary to prioritize our gaming, music, and video streaming applications over typical web surfing and data transfer activities. QoS gives us a measure of control over this. Generally speaking, QoS falls under two categories, wired and wireless. Wireless QoS involves something called Wi-Fi Multimedia, or WMM. WMM automatically prioritizes video music and gaming applications over other typical web surfing activities. The only real option we have with WMM is to either enable it or disable it. The major caveat with WMM is it's only effective with devices that support it. Wired QoS, meaning devices that are physically plugged into the router, provides us with a little bit more flexibility. It allows us to prioritize according to devices MAC addresses, the physical port they're plugged into the router, and certain types of applications. QoS is implemented in a variety of different ways on different routers, but it all boils down to the same thing. We're simply trying to give priority over certain activities on our network over others. So let's have a look at some of the implementations of QoS on our routers. Okay, on this particular router for QoS settings, we want to go to Application and Gaming and QoS. Now, on this router, when we simply enable this particular button, it gives us access to all these controls down here. And then we can proceed to choose what devices we want to give priority, what Ethernet ports on the router we want to give priority to, or which applications we want to give priority to. If we just check this, we are basically just giving common game ports priority. If we want to get more specific, we can start adding particular games and the ports they use in here. To me, this can be a little bit too much work. I would find it much easier to just basically just give priority to a specific port or a specific MAC address. Down here, the default on this particular router is to disable WMM support. And to enable it, simple matter of just enabling it, and from that point on, any wireless communication on your network automatically will give priority to music, video, and gaming applications. So let's look at another router. Right away we see WMM, Wi-Fi Multimedia, and it basically just gives us the ability to either enable it or disable it on each of our SSIDs, our 2.4 gigahertz SSID, or a 5 gigahertz SSID. It doesn't hurt to have them both enabled, but in my case, most of my Wi-Fi multimedia is going on on the 5 gigahertz frequency band. So now, to enable these settings down here, we click on this, and then we can basically create our own little rules for applications that we access from across the internet. And it provides us with some basic, well-known applications that we can change the priority of if we want, such as Yahoo Messenger, we would simply 
click edit and then edit its priority to say highest or if there are some of these that are just getting in the way we can delete them or change their priority level whatever we want to do now unfortunately every application in the world can't be on this little list but most of the most popular ones are so if all these rules do not serve our purposes we can always add our own little rule and once we get into here we have an option of several different kinds of rules we can choose we can choose applications and then that pretty much makes us takes us back to what we just had over there or we can choose online gaming which gives us the choice of a few games but unfortunately our choices are only limited to the games in the drop down we can also choose an ethernet port let's just say we put port 2 in here and we give it our highest priority so now all we have to do is plug a cable into port number 2 of our router and anything that happens on that port takes priority over everything else that's a very simple way of doing this so let's look at some other priority rules another thing we can do is we can prioritize according to the device's MAC address so we can simply give it a name and either select a device from this list or add our own and say highest click add and now our iPod receives the highest priority on the network now the kind of QoS settings you'll find will vary greatly from router to router this is just an example to give you an idea of some of the control you can have over the traffic on your network so that concludes our section on QoS.